hello this is going to be a very brief coaching about cockroach for neat 2021 this is a cockroach it belongs to class insecta of phylum arthropoda the colors are bright yellow or red or green the size is half inch to 3 inches that means 0.6 to 7.6 cm they are nocturnal in habit means they travel at night they search for food at night and they are omnivores they can eat any type of food vegetarian as well as non veg the upper part of their body wall conceals their head they stay in damp places they are pests and vectors of several diseases now their cover their covering body covering is hard chitinous exoskeleton the exoskeleton is hardened plates called sclerites which are of two types the dorsal ones are called tergites and the ventral ones are called sternites both of them are joined by arthrodial membrane according to ncert length the length is approximately 34 to 53 mm with wings now coming to the head part the head part of the cockroach this is the figure the head it is roughly triangular in shape it is at right angle to the longitudinal body axis that means 90 degree it is formed by fusion of six segments they have a pair of compound eyes each compound eyes have 2000 hexagonal units called omatidia which provide mosaic vision mosaic vision means this such kind of vision is having more sensitivity and less resolution which is mostly nocturnal type of vision they have a pair of thread like antennae these are antennae they have biting and chewing type of mouth parts these are the mouth parts you can see labrum labrum means upper lip labium means lower lip then they have a medial flexible tongue called hypopharynx the mandibles are paired the maxillae are paired so these are their mouth parts coming to thorax thorax they have three divisions each of the thoracic segment bears two pairs of legs they have prothorax mesothorax and metathorax the prothorax is connected with head by neck the mesothorax bears the first pair of wings or four wings which are called tegmina which are dark and leathery dark colored and leathery in shape they cover their hind wings metathorax contain second pair of wings or hind wings which are transparent and membranous in structure and used for flight now coming to abdomen this is the abdomen the abdomen in both the sexes have 10 segments and have anal cerci in both the sexes but anal style is present only in males the sterna in females which are 7th 8th and 9th the 7th sterna is boat shaped 8th has no specific feature but the 9th contains brood or genital pouch in females coming to digestive tract or digestive system this is the whole digestive system over here it is divided into foregut midgut and hindgut the foregut contains mouth hypopharynx over here then esophagus this is the crop temporary stomach this is gizzard grinding stomach these are parts of foregut after foregut there are hepatic cecae which are 8 in number then coming to midgut or mesenteron only this part at the end of mesenteron there are 100 to 150 malpighian tubules which help in excretion 
Then coming to hindgut. Hindgut contains ilium, colon, and rectum. This part is hindgut. Now coming to excretory. The excretory system, they are uricotelic in nature. That means they excrete uric acid. They excrete with the help of Malpighian tubules. There are also other parts for excretion like fat bodies, nephrocytes and uricose gland. Coming to respiratory system. The respiratory system contains tracheal system. Tracheal system contains 10 pairs of spiracles out of which 2 pairs are thoracic and 8 pairs are abdominal. The opening of the tracheal system to the outside is through fine tubules called tracheoles. Coming to blood vascular system containing heart, the blood vascular system is open type where vessels are poorly developed. The blood doesn't travel through vessels. They open into hemocyl. Their blood is colorless, which is known as hemolymph. It contains plasma, hemocytes, plasmocytes and coagulocytes. The heart, the heart is 13 chambered heart, which is called ostia. These chambers are called ostia. The heart is present in the mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen. It is elongated and muscular structure. Most of the systems are over now, coming to nervous system and the reproductive system. Now coming to nervous system first, the nervous system contains fused ganglia in the thorax, there are three and abdomen have six, six fused one. The little part of the nervous system is present in head, it's, it contains brain which is also known as supraesophageal ganglion and main part lies in the ventral body. Only a little in the head and the main part in the ventral body. They have sense organs like antennae, compound eyes, anal cerci, labial pulps and maxillary pulps. Okay. Now coming to reproductive system. Reproductive system, the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system. Male is different having testis. Phallic gland, you can see the figure over here, seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle stores the sperms, the sperm storage. These are glued as a bundle called spermatophore. The sperms are glued as a bundle called spermatophores, which are discharged during copulation. Whenever they copulate with the females, the sperms are discharged. Then vas deferens, ejaculatory duct. There is a pseudo penis over here, you can see. One is tighty letter over here, this one. They have phallomeres, left and right both. The right is not marked over here. Phallomere is the external genitalia which surrounds the male gonophore. Now the track through which their male gametes travel. From testis, they travel to vas deferens, from vas deferens to seminal vesicle, then to ejaculatory duct and then male gonophore. The testis are present in the fourth and sixth abdominal segments. And the mushroom gland, which is an accessory respiratory gland, it is present in the sixth and seventh abdominal segments. Look over here, fourth to sixth is testis and sixth to seventh is mushroom gland. Coming to females, female reproductive system is like this. They contain ovary, oviduct, vagina, collateral glands. This is spermathica, this is vestibulum and these are gonapophyses. The average females produce 9 to 10 eggs. 9 to 10 uthika. What is uthika? Uthika is are the capsules that enclose fertilized eggs. They contain 14 to 16 eggs which are glued together to suitable surface. During the time of copulation, the spermatophore is discharged from here 
they combine with the eggs and the result into a kind of cocoon formation these are the capsules which enclose the fertilized eggs after that they give birth to nymph nymph is just like the adult it resembles adult after few molting almost resembling the adult except their wings okay so this much for now within 10:30 10 minutes 30 seconds we have finished the whole cockroach please this is very essential for your neat the ncert thoroughly followed thank you very much and please subscribe the channel if you want this kind of easy way of handling the answers